that Russia and China to think they're going to undermine the U.S. economy. Undermining the U.S. economy would not be profitable for all of those other countries because they're supported by the U.S. economy. Today, we're diving into a significant and widely discussed topic that has garnered attention from news outlets and experts alike. It revolves around the perceived economic threat posed by two global giants, Russia and China, to the United States. This issue has become a point of contention with some individuals and experts raising alarm bells, suggesting that these two nations are actively working towards a scenario where they could severely impact or even crush the U.S. economy. This concern has emerged against the backdrop of shifting geopolitical dynamics, economic interdependencies, and speculation about the actions of these two superpowers. Some assert that Russia and China are strategically positioning themselves to challenge the economic dominance of the United States on the world stage. The notion of an economic threat from these countries has been fueled by various factors, including discussions about potential collaborations with the BRICS group, which includes Brazil, Russia, India, China, and South Africa, as well as rumors of a gold-backed currency that these nations might introduce. The fear is that such a currency could entice Saudi Arabia, a major oil exporter, to abandon the US dollar for oil transactions. This, it is suggested, could trigger a chain reaction, leading countries holding US Treasury bonds to start selling them off, potentially causing severe economic repercussions, such as skyrocketing inflation within the United States. The concern over Russia and China's impact on the US economy is a subject of intense discussion and debate. While some voices are indeed sounding alarm, it is essential to critically evaluate the evidence, understand the intricacies of global economics, and acknowledge the uncertainty inherent in predicting future geopolitical developments. And the central point of contention in this discussion centers on the BRICS nation, with a particular focus on Russia and China. These two countries, along with Brazil, India, and South Africa, collectively form the BRICS group, which has become a notable and influential entity in the global arena. Russia and China, as the most prominent members of the BRICS bloc, carry substantial weight in international affairs. Their economic, political, and military influence extends across regions and continents. And it's important to emphasize that these nations are not merely players, but significant actors on the world stage, each with its unique strength and challenges. China, for instance, has emerged as the world's second largest economy and a major driver of global economic growth. Its manufacturing prowess, technological advancements, and extensive trade networks have positioned it as a pivotal player in the international trade and commerce. Moreover, China's Belt and Road Initiative, a massive infrastructure project spanning numerous countries, demonstrates its ambition for global connectivity and economic influence. Russia, on the other hand, boasts extensive energy resources, particularly in oil and natural gas. This places it in a critical position concerning global energy markets. Additionally, Russia's assertive foreign policy and military capabilities have made it a key player in regional conflicts and diplomatic negotiations. When combined with the economic powerhouses of Brazil and India, as well as the economic potential of South Africa, the BRICS nation forms a formidable economic bloc. Together, they account for a substantial portion of the world's GDP, trade, and population. This economic cloud grants them the platform to challenge established global economic systems and institutions. The central issue at hand is whether these BRIC nations, with their collective economic might, will leverage their influence in a way that poses a direct and substantial threat to the United States and its existing global economic order. Speculation has arisen regarding their intentions, including the possibility of introducing a gold-backed currency as an alternative to the US dollar in international trade. The contention regarding the BRICS nation, particularly Russia and China, revolves around their undeniable significance as global players. Their combined economic strength and ambitions raise questions about the potential impact they may have on the existing global economic landscape and their ability to challenge the economic status quo, which has long been dominated by the United States and its currency, the US dollar. One of the key concerns is the speculation that BRICS nations might unveil a gold-backed currency. The fear is that such a move could prompt Saudi Arabia to abandon the US dollar for oil transactions. If this were to occur, it suggested that countries holding US Treasury bonds might start selling them off, potentially leading to rampant inflation in the United States. Now, let's assess the credibility of this scenario. While it's essential to consider all possibilities, we must also evaluate the practicality of such a plan. It's crucial to remember that these nations are not isolated entities. They are deeply interconnected with the global economy, and any move that severely damages the U.S. economy will also harm their own interests. They rely on a stable U.S. market for their own economic well-being. Undermining the U.S. economy would not be profitable for all of those other companies, countries because they're supported by the U.S. economy.
The geopolitical landscape is intricate, and nations often pursue their interests, assuming that these countries can unite and execute a plan that would undermine the U.S. economy oversimplifies the intricate web of the international relations. Once again, we like to emphasize that the worry is that if such a gold-backed currency were established, it could entice Saudi Arabia, a major oil exporter, to abandon the U.S. dollar for oil transactions. This petrodollar system, where oil trades are conducted in U.S. dollars, has been a long-standing practice. If Saudi Arabia were to shift away from the U.S. dollar, it could reduce the global demand for the dollar in general. The potential chain reaction is what causes the concern. Countries holding substantial reserves of U.S. dollars might decide to diversify their holdings by selling off U.S. Treasury bonds. This could increase the supply of these bonds in the market, potentially decreasing their value. In response, the U.S. government might need to print more money to cover its debt obligations, leading to concerns about inflation within the United States. However, it's crucial to approach this scenario with caution. The global economic landscape is complex, and numerous factors could influence or mitigate such a situation. Nations are deeply interconnected economically, and the U.S. dollar's role in global trade is substantial. Dave Ramsey, a respected figure in personal finance, advises a measured approach. He emphasizes the importance of focusing on what individuals can control in their financial lives and avoid undue anxiety over doomsday scenarios. Ramsey cautions against stockpiling assets like gold in anticipation of extreme events, emphasizing that responsible financial management and diversification are key to financial security. The concern over Russia and China impacting the U.S. economy is a subject of discussion and debate. It underscores the complexity of the global economic dynamics and the challenges of predicting future geopolitical developments. It also highlights the importance of maintaining a rational and balanced approach to personal finance while staying informed about potential risk. While concerns regarding the potential impact of Russia and China on the U.S. economy are not unfounded, it's crucial to approach this topic with a sense of perspective and avoid falling into the trap of fear-mongering. Understanding the intricacies of the global economics and maintaining a balanced outlook is essential in navigating such complex issues. First and foremost, it is important to acknowledge that the world's economic dynamics are incredibly intricate. Fear-mongering, or the spread of exaggerated or sensationalized fears, can lead to panic and irrational decision-making. It's essential to recognize that while discussions are about potential threats are important, they should not be driven by alarmist narratives. Fearmongering often thrives on speculation and worst-case scenarios, which may not necessarily align with the most probable outcomes. Maintaining perspective means taking a step back and assessing the likelihood and severity of potential threats in a rational manner. It involves looking at historical precedents, understanding the motivation and interests of different nations and actors, and considering the broader context of the global economic interdependencies. If you found this video informative, do like and subscribe to our channel. Also, feel free to share your thoughts about it in the comment section below. Stay tuned for more.